The friends, in this video, I wanna talk to you about something that the fitness industry will never talk to you about. Probably because if they did, they wouldn't be needed as much. I struggled with emotional eating and weight most of my life. I tried for years to lose the weight and I kept failing. Eventually, I was able to figure out what worked for me and I was able to lose 130 pounds and I've kept it off for eight years. And I get asked so many times in the comments, Nicole, how did you get motivated to start on your journey and how did you stay motivated when things got tough or when you hit a plateau? And I'm making this video because the fitness industry will talk about what I call the surface level things, wearing smaller clothes, looking better in your clothes, diet, exercise, and those things, they're really important. Uh, they really helped me get started. Diet especially, I needed to love what I was eating and I used portion control to lose the weight and be in a calorie deficit. And with exercise, I needed to find something that was sustainable for me, that I enjoyed, that I could do for a long time, which was walking, but, what the fitness industry doesn't tell you about is what I needed to push me through when things got tricky, which is what I call deeper motivators. Because it's normal on a weight loss journey, it is not linear, it's normal to have ups and downs, to hit plateaus, to have tough days, to make mistakes, to fail, to start again, that's all normal. But they don't talk about is that those surface level motivators only go so far. When it's tough, you need something deeper to drive you past the wanting to give up and to keep pushing on. When I only focused on the surface level, looking better, wearing smaller clothes, feeling better about looking smaller, they only got me so far. What helped me get the weight off, push through to get it off and keep it off is what I'm gonna share with you right now. And those are what I call my deeper motivators. And I'm sharing these with you in case they inspire you to find something to push you through, even when it's really getting tough. So before I get into the deeper motivators, plateaus, we get asked all the time about those and I hit a few plateaus and it can be so hard because they're normal. You're doing what was working. I, I was eating in my plan, eating in a calorie deficit, doing my walking, my exercise, everything was on point. And one day it just stopped working. And I was like, but I didn't change anything. And those days can be really tr tricky when you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I tweak this to make this go again? And you might not even know that they're normal. And finally I realized that, but in order to pull you through, even though you know it's normal and you just keep trying, you need a deeper motivator, a bigger reason why you're doing this than just surface level things. Because looks and fitting in smaller clothes only got me so far. My first deeper motivator, my CPAP machine. At my heaviest weight, I was 275 pounds and I was diagnosed with sleep apnea. I had it so bad, I was stopping breathing seven times a night and partially stopping breathing 84 times a night. When I was getting fitted for my CPAP machine, I said to the lady that was helping me, is there any chance if I lose weight that I can reverse this and not have this machine? And she said, it's possible, it's not always likely, but there are a few people that have been able to reverse it and not have the machine anymore. And I made a goal with myself that day. I wanted to be one of those few people that didn't need it, that was able to lose the weight and reverse it. And no, it's not gonna happen for everyone. And I understood that, but I thought, even if it doesn't happen and I try, I tried. And losing the weight to try to not have the machine meant my body physically would be easy, easier to move around because at that point, it was very difficult for me to do even the most basic physical things like bend down to tie my shoes or get up and down from a seated position um, because my weight was causing so many physical problems for me. I pushed through and actually after the first 50 pounds that I lost, I was medically cleared of sleep apnea and I didn't need the machine anymore. And I used that to push me through because I said, I'm never getting on that machine again if I can help it. And every day I use that and I still do. I don't wanna give myself sleep apnea again. And I push forward with that in my head. I don't want that machine. And it drives me forward even when days are really tricky. 
Number two, Kyle, AKA Sassy, my husband, my camera friend. <laughs> he was struggling with his weight and emotional eating too. And at his heaviest, he was 375 pounds and he got diagnosed with type two diabetes. And the day that he got diagnosed was the day that saved and changed both of our lives. I wanted to be a role model for him. That might sound silly, but I wanted to be supportive and do it with him so that he didn't feel alone. But also on the days where I couldn't do it for myself, where I was being so hard on myself that I didn't want to change and save, you know, save my life because my weight was causing me so many health problems. Um, I could do it for someone I loved. So I would use Kyle as a motivator. Like I want to be healthy and there for him. And it pushed me through so that I could be there for myself and do it for myself. Number three, pictures of me as a child. When I was going through therapy to work on and heal from my emotional eating, I learned this tip that really helped me with weight loss too. And it was to put pictures of me as a child all around where I ate or where I frequented a lot. So the bathroom, my room, the car, my placemat where I ate all my meals and the my vanity mirror. And here are some pictures. I'll show you that why this worked was because when I was struggling with my emotional eating and my weight, I was very hard on myself. And if I would be hard on myself or trying to use food to cope because of my emotional eating, and I seen these pictures, I would say to myself, would you put this little girl down? And would you put little Nicole down? Would you put any child down? Would you talk to that child the way that you talk to your adult self? Would you encourage the child to use food to cope and never i would never do or say anything to anyone else in this world that i would say and do to my adult self and it really helped me go well, what would i do for this child this little nicole i would take her by the hand and say it's okay nicole everything will be okay and i will help you you will get through this and so when i get stuck i still keep a picture of myself as a child on my vanity for days that I get hard on myself and I look and I remember, I wouldn't put adult little Nicole down. So don't put adult Nicole down, take her by the hand and go, it'll be okay. Let's get through this. And you're stronger than you think. And it really works. Like I said, I still use it now. Number four, this might sound really silly, um, but if you're you know, someone who struggles, you might understand this. No more holes in my jeans. My legs were quite large and my thighs rubbed together with any movement that I made and it created multiple holes in the thighs of my jeans on the insides and pretty much every other day I was having to buy new jeans or sew the holes and what would happen is I'd be out, you know, working or whatever and the holes would happen and then my skin would rub together and cause these really red sore bumps and it would be pretty painful and I said to myself, I don't wanna put myself through this anymore. I'm tired of sewing jeans. I'm tired of buying new ones all the time. And I'm really tired of hurting myself because of it. And that really like, I still have that visual of the holes in my jeans and feeling bad and in public, like trying to cover the holes, like so that nobody could see. And I said, you're worth it to not do this to yourself anymore. And that visual stays with me and it pulls me through on really tough days because you know, I still like, I've healed the emotional eating, but sometimes still thoughts will come in my head that will put me down or, you know, say, hey, you had a bad day, why don't you have a chocolate bar? And then I remember all these things that I'm sharing with you and it pulls me through. And then I don't do that because it would just be feeding my emotions and numbing myself, not actually dealing with the problem. Number five, I found a motivating song. It's called Through the Rain by Mariah Carey. And I heard it on the radio one day when I was really struggling. And there's one lyric in there. It says, I can make it through the rain. That really stuck with me because I had been through so much. Like by the time I was like eight years old, I had had a really traumatic childhood. I'd been through a lot and I'd made it through many rains. 
I was really resilient. And on the days where I was struggling with my weight, like I forgot how resilient I was. And that song reminded me like, you can make it through anything. You can get through this. This is nothing compared to what you struggled with as a kid. And so I, I bought the CD because there were CDs at some point when I was like young, because I'm old, 40, almost 40. Um, and I played that song over and over and that lyric stayed in my head. And anytime that I would struggle, I would say in my head, like I can make it through the rain. And it was so powerful and so motivating for me that I actually got it tattooed on my arm. Um, I don't know, can you guys see that? Um, to remind me on days where I was struggling. And you know, when I see it, I remember, oh yeah, you can do this, you got this. You can make it through the rain. Those are the things that weight loss industry, the fitness industry, they're not gonna share. You know, when days get tough, you need something deeper. And if you're struggling and you're really struggling for motivation, look deeper. I learned that surface stuff only went so far and I had to look deeper and these things they really help. They still help me every day. I have these visuals of me struggling in my head and I use it to push myself through. So whatever it is, if like I said, there were days where it was hard for me to do it for me, but I could do it for someone I love. If you need to do that, is it for your kids? Is it for your spouse, your best friend, your parents? Find a deeper motivator for you that pushes you through when things are tough and know that you're more capable than you think you are and you're stronger than you think you are and you're resilient and I believe in you and you are worth it to believe in you and you can do this. So right now in the comments, I want you to stop and think about this. Write down in the comments what is a deeper motivator for you? Not the number on the scale, not feeling better in your clothes, not looking better, um, not how many pounds you're gonna lose in a certain amount of time, but something that's deeper, on a deeper level that will push you through and motivate you even when times are tough, that can help you forever. You know, can could be one of the ones that you heard in this list that inspire you. Anything. Write it down and remember that when you're struggling. Come back, look at the comments in this video and find a motivator to help you. Whatever it is, gotta go a little deeper and it'll really help. If you want to know exactly what I ate to lose the weight, exact meals and portions, I do have weight loss guides. The links are down below and use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. I also have a guilt-free cookbook and I got the huddled. It's called actually HTLT Subs and I'm sponsored by this company. They just put out these Seco Plus, Seco Bar Plus and these flavors, uh, they're amazing. Dirty Cookies and Cream and Caramel Toffee Crunch. That's and, my favorite. And this one is actually my favorite. They're both amazing, but I don't know, this tastes like one of my favorite chocolate bars. Um, Crispy Crunch, is that the one? Yeah. So anyway, use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off there as well. And like, get those seriously, like they're really good. <laughs> um, I hope that this video has inspired you to, you know, keep pushing and believing yourself and find something deeper that'll help you when you're just having a tough day and just know that that's normal. And Kyle and I love you very much and we believe in you and you can do this, you can. Don't forget, subscribe if you're getting cootie, and don't forget to check this bit and this bit so you can see how Saf and I keep ourselves motivated and love our food and love our life and just do this all day and just have a fun time because weight loss is not a punishment. It is supposed to be fun and like, like that. So, I love you. We'll catch you in the next vid. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace, cuties. See ya. Hello, see ya. I mean, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it.